Oh, actually, it's going waters, even though there's a space between the water and the S. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's been a monster on projectile for ages. He may. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There, there, that's more like it. Brigida is going to be the name of the game here for Oasis Garden on the side of the Legion. Chicken tendies as well, going with very much the same. Yep. So they ended trials with a four and three record. Their two losses. So they're actually behind. Very, very good on their own. One of those times, people find out who is tried. Another one of them is ready. From the second win, it's going to go ahead and get the first blood out of this match. And it's not going to be long for the team. I'm going to go back on the point. Yes, Pride has shortened his game, but he's still a winner. 70% 70, 70 to that self-destruct. I mean, all of Legion are doing, you know, quite well in terms of ultimate charge uh, compared to Chicken Tendies. A really unfortunate loss, uh, first loss of Hard Blue. There's no way you can push without a damage dealer, which is going to be your Zarya and Goats. So now they have a good re-engage, but Gladiators are, Legion already have that high ground. Uh, so Jake is going to go up onto the high ground, going to use the Particle Bear. Hard Blue is going to use the Particle Bear on him, so he's not going to have that. Allied barriers, so there's actually going to be some vulnerable points for chicken contendies, but if they're getting killed, those vulnerable abilities are going to go away. Just like Second Gladiator's Legion, though, the Shanker on that primal raid is going to be throwing some fisty cuss into the rest of chicken contendies, but chicken contendies dealing with this very, very well. You know, being a trials team coming up against Gladiator's Legion, been here since the beginning of contenders, some nerves could be there, but I'm actually not seeing them so far. No, no, and it was, and Salty was actually out of mech for, for most of that fight. Got stunned, got demeched really early. He was pew pew pewing with his baby diva blaster for ages, and now Throw he gets back. Yeah. Balls, right? yeah, exactly. It's, it's surprisingly <laughs> deadly. Um, if you're, you're, you could be allergic, uh, but Gladiators Legion, they were just playing the stalling game, right, for, for quite some time. They've earned themselves 49%, and now they're going to be re engaging with some ultimates, but now they're the ones who have to take a ton of damage, engaging on that high ground. It's going to be their choice as to how they take this rotation. So they're going to engage with the rally. They're going to come in with that armor. Suppose still has that transcendence as well. They're going to be going up on the ball. Chicken Contendies definitely have a chance to take this defense. And now the sound barrier is going to go out. Not going to hit everybody, but it doesn't seem to matter. As Gladiators Legion now are going to be coming up on their ultimate. Like, the next thing we will see is the primal rate kick for the Graviton Surge from the ball. And Pride is going to wait for that Graviton Surge to come. That cost you dig. You can bait force out that primal rage. It's gonna be knocking the backsides of Gladiators of Legion, and they're gonna be flown around. Dalton is gonna get two Graviton Surge kills. You don't see that every day, my friends. And so Gladiators Legion, though, gonna have five ultimates up for this next push, but a good showing so far from Chicken Contenders. Yeah. Uh when things are going the way they're able to hold on to it for quite some time. So now they have the bigger bang at the ready. Fry didn't have to use that ultimate. So right now, ten, uh, Legion, excuse me, could actually just keep playing this stall game, throw, you know, a proactive self-destruct, just waste Tendi's time because they've now surpassed them in point percentage. So that is Legion, who owns the point right now? That rally, they're not going to have as much as Gladiator's Legion does. This is Gladiator's Legion fight. Sound Barrier can be for some more. We see the Graviton comes out, so does Volk Transcend. It's going to throw that self destruct up. One for Salty, none for Fried. And so Chicken Contendies can take this point back. Primal Raging Tanker is below half health, so he's going to be able to get a, any kills. The answer is no, not personally, but the rest of Gladiator's are going to be able to handle this fight. Chicken Contendi is going to be losing out. Gladiators Legion going to win this first I really like the way that Gladiators Legion engages with purpose. I would say, you know, no hesitation when you pop that trance. Trust <laughs> <laughs> it it would have it would have taken a miracle I w I would say for for chicken teddies to to have brought that back but we we oh when but if that Montreal game was anything to go up, we've seen some crazier fights right so uh, chicken teddies they played a good game I again it just felt like certain members were getting isolated right yes. really early on maybe the peel wasn't a hundred percent there hard blue was the first to die in two of those fights right right off the bat and then not only are you missing that Zarya damage but that means you're not charging your graph right which is even today when you need so much follow-up and there's so many things that could cancel out the graph you need a grab well, you're not getting the energy you yeah you, and no energy it's 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 a lose-lose you want to have your Zarya up and healthy especially here in city center where first Point control can mean the round win.
for the team. It's so hard to clean up the staggering, trickling members of the, your opponents. So first cap is going to mean a lot. A lot of people say the chicken can be slid and die by their hard blue. So far, it's actually been pretty average. Like, they've been keeping up with Gladiator's Legion, and you look at these two teams on paper, you're going to say Gladiator's Legion should win this in a roll, but that's not what we're seeing right now. Chicken Contendies was pretty competitive on that first round, and now the point has been open. We're going to see these two teams jostling for position. Gladiator's Legion going to be favoring the high ground, with Chicken Contendies going to be favoring the point. However, Panker is on the low ground as well to stop the point from getting capped, but a great engage from Panker into the back line. Going to knock the post out of this fight. This is 6v5 for Gladiators of Legion. Reinhardt's not going to be enough damage. Gig not pushing out enough. He's going to be taken pretty low as well. Going to be going back to spawn potentially very soon, but no one has taken this point yet. Not just yet, but Legion, if they can clean up these staggers, they have an advantage here in their ability to use the high ground with that Winston. And now Dalton facing a Gig Reinhardt right here. He's so highly charged, but Salty finds the kill onto Panker. So. Every one is so low, Ham Tornado, but Chicken Contendi is going to lose more in the end. They're going to lose the two people who have their ultimates, but that means they're going to have the next fight. Black Peter's Legion going to have a couple of their own. The next fight, though, is not going to be as good of a fight for Chicken Contendies, though, because they give up the surprise, right? They have to walk through one of these two chokes. Not only that, I feel like they're hampering themselves by running this Reinhardt when they're coming up against a Winston, who has so much verticality and ability to dive in and out, cause havoc. We saw Panker utilize that earlier on that kill on his suppose. He knows he's going to have to use that to save the rest of the team after this Gravicon surge. And that's what we're going to see. So you can going to have a little up there. Oh, it's just going to be one of those six ultimates each, no kills. And then the old Bashway's hard blue. And then Salty, hey! though, going to get the first kills here. Three kills for Chicken Contendies. They will be taking this point. Gladiators need to lose out. OK, so that's the advantage that you have when you have a Reinhardt. You saw he was able to land a Shatter essentially for free, and there were members of Legion there for the taking. You throw in that self-destruct, it's almost going to be a guaranteed kill. Sans a sound barrier or some other kind of real clutch play from the Legion. So attendees, you know, they knew where their disadvantage was, but they trusted Gig. They wanted to continue to run that Reinhardt, and they did. They were able to use that hero when he had the advantage rather than just forcing it, right? Going for some long, crazy rotation. But now the re-engage is on with that sound barrier and Buck is already down. Oh, well, I mean, this fight's pretty much over for our chicken contenders at this point. Gladiators need you getting those first few kills. It's easy pickings from here on out. Mm -hmm. Especially now that Panker has also swapped onto the Reinhardt. W Mouse 1, man. You're, we're not cowards, right? Just run in and Rolf here on the Zenyatta. We haven't touched upon the Legion back. Oh, well, we have. We've talked about Luddy. Rolf is going to, uh, but Rolf adds a lot to this team as well. And really picking it up right there, you saw towards the end of the fight being those kill confirmers. And with this grab nearly in hand, Legion can just hold this choke. <laughs> and so, Chicken Contendies, uh, like you said, Hard Blue has that grab. Water going to start things off with the rally. The Shield Dash cooldown is down. Earth Shatter going to be taking water down to the ground. But is that going to be enough to get the kill? The support seems to be there, but no, Gig's going to have to finalize that with that charge kill. So, Chicken Contendies have an opening here. 65. The World Transcendence is no more. Suppose has theirs. And in Overwatch, a lot of the. Oh! I think that that was the boop into a fried winning. Triple kill, there it is, my friends. Deep fried, man, that is, wow. Great execution from the Legion, and they're probably just going to straight up take Oasis with all of the advantage here. Zolik trying his best here. He does get that sound barrier. Lucio could not move fast enough to get on to the point. Both rounds ending with almost touching into overtime. But Gladiator's Legion taking this one Zero right now, two zero overall in Oasis and mm. fried with that triple kill. There was definitely some displacement there, assuming it was a boop to get that opening. But something that I'm really excited about, particularly for fried on this team, mm. is that his coach from Second Wind is now his coach still. So yeah. I know that Maid's going to be able to take all of that progress that he made last season and continue that on through this season. I think this diva could be very scary here in the future. He was scary last season, right? Which is the crazy thing. Fried winner. Look up some of those clips, folks, because he, in in a meta, in a GOATS meta, where everything was a bigger bang to f actually find those kills, he was an individual playmaking diva. Saved fights off the backs of his self-destructs individually in the past. Now you put him in a team, you know, with a great Reinhardt. You have Luddy on the Lucio, able to, you know, maybe... Uh, 
help facilitate those kills, you're going to be even scarier. Exactly. And so looking on the other side, though, that was, you know, that was competitive at points. Chicken contendies should feel pretty good about that, even though you want the win. In the end, I think when you're a trials team coming up against, you know, this Legion team, which in my opinion is arguably the best we've seen in the last couple seasons. And so, you know, you can get nervous. You can let that take, you know, advantage of you. But what they have to realize is that, like, being here was the first test. They made it through trials. Yeah. And even if they lose, they could totally win this. If they lose, they're, they've, I think, already proven that they can hang. Yes, that's, that is going to be the end goal for 10 days coming out of today. Uh, once again, first day, you know, it is going to be a different level of competition moving from trials into contenders proper. So if it's a close game, regardless, they will have done their job. Now, the Legion, though, they have, you know, some new working parts as well. But there is going to be a little bit more pressure on their shoulders to not just do well, but to perform mm -hmm. excellently. Well, they're, yeah, they're, th that's the expectation for, mm -hmm. for the Legion. Chicken Contendies doesn't really have that. None of the Trials teams really did. I, I think that's why Second Win and First Generation were such great stories, mm -hmm. is they came out of nowhere, it felt like. A real, path, real path to protein. Yeah, they came yeah. out of nowhere, and now it's it's so cool to hear, oh, who's going to be the next Second Wind? You know, it, for this season, it totally could be Chicken Contendies. And, and you see what happens to those teams that are able to do really well. First Gen, m many of those players have been picked up by the Montreal Rebellion. So, you know, the path to pro is real here. Everybody from Chicken Contendies is going to be looking to shine now. I think they have an opportunity to as well as I believe we're going to King's Row and mm -hmm. next we'll get into the map here just in a second. And one thing that you know we saw a lot of all three rounds was that GOAT's composition from both sides. We talked about Luddy and how he's very familiar in that. So when you're replacing your Lucio, you're replacing it with someone who's very familiar with GOATs. Like yeah, Chicken Contendies goat GOATs, like what was the one thing? Because you know that was a 60 percenter there. What maybe is one thing that would have gotten them over the edge, do you think? Uh, I, in particular on Control Center, I do think that it would have been, you know, interesting to see what might have happened if Gig was on a Winston. Uh, but, you know, it's you come out of spawn, you're not quite sure, so that's passed. Harblue would like to see, you know, some more production out of him as well. Whether it's, you know, just him making more individual plays, I don't think it's that. I'd love to see his team give him more resources because you can tell that Legion recognize his skill and have been focusing him in many of those fights. One of the reasons that he died so early. I don't know why, but Fright strikes me as someone who's going to be really good at wrecking ball. But Faker is <laughs> going to be the first kill. First blood coming for Chicken Contendies. That's a great start on this defense. It's going to force a fast reset. Mm -hmm. And this is a pretty interesting version of the 3-3 triple tank triple support. So instead of a D.Va, you have no Sombra. Instead, it's a Hammond. Just free ranging here. And Tendi's actually going to have to back up there and see the little bit of that space. Man, it's amazing to see, like, they got that first pick. Bride came in and immediately tried to assert his dominance there. Chicken Contendies gave up a lot of, gave up those two points. They can, and they're showing exactly why they did that. The, the patience is paying off, and I love what they did there, because a lot of teams will, they see them on the point and they engage right away. They yeah. waited for a good opportunity, get getting those two kills to start things off. Chicken Contendi is going to win out this defense, but they do lose two ticks. Yeah, but, you know, what a way to rebound defense. Yes. Come back and shatter immediately get the kills so uh, chicken tendies are playing you know pretty aggressively but they're able to temper that eagerness to go for those better fights right it's a sign of maturity it is a sign of maturity especially for an unsigned team like we've been talking about now harbour is going to have to grab at the ready fried has eaten more than his share of ultimates in the past very for that Diva's Maw. He lands it. <laughs> Not going to be that one. Is the grab Hunter going to hit everyone on Gladiator's Legion? Dalton going to be the first one to go down the Transcendence. Not going to be enough for Dalton. So Gladiator's Legion, they had you know, two ticks, but now they're coming back with three ultimates. The Chicken Contendies, they're pretty set up for uh, the foreseeable deep future. They're looking very good right now. The the ring around the rosy of Mondata's statue has not been working out for the Legion. Maybe a hotel bum rush, you know, go through the back, check out real fast, and push the point from the back might help them out. But Rolf already chunked down real low, even with the rally. Oh, Gig was stunned in the back line. Panker is going to be trying to assert himself as well as Luddy and Dalton are going to be on the ground, but so is Salty and Buck. So, you know, two for two there, but Chicken Pendies on those Earth Shatter are going to find a lot more value out of their just individual play. Going to win this fight pretty hard. I, I can't tell if the the what's happening right now lies with the supports or lies with the tank line. You saw Luddy and Wolf was a 
free shatter for Gig. Panker was across the statue, his shield nowhere near his backline, and maybe they weren't expecting for Gig to engage, but as a Reinhardt, you have to be always keeping an eye at where that big giant shield is because Chicken Contendies didn't, you know, need to win that fight as easily as they did. But they might need to win this one. If they don't win this one, they might not win point A, and they're definitely in the driver's seat right now. Gladiators Legion getting two kills at the one minute warning. They will be grabbing this point. They only need one tick, but since this is arguably the slowest payload opening of all time. <laughs> Chicken Contendies will be able to hold up close, but it looks like Gladiator's Legion is going to try to stop that from happening as they are trying to get Gig on the short spot. Yep, oh, he manages to get to the safety of his team. Super important. He saw that the first tick in that fight was supposed to have the trans up, so that was going to be likely a one fight for Legion. They ended up just going through the hotel. You know, it worked. It was a good rotation. worked out for them. So they do need to keep that in mind. You know, sometimes you just keep bashing your head against the same route of engagement over and over losing not only members but time as well. Urshadow gonna go straight into the shield so Gladiators Legion not gonna make anything happen right now as they're waiting for the Transcendence to defeat itself from Chicken Contendies. Gig gonna be the last uh, ultimate on the line. Buck's gonna have a rally as well so Gig's gonna throw that Urshadow down. Get three members of the Gladiators Legion. Self-Destruct not gonna get anything but Chicken Contendies gonna find more value out of that Urshadow and so they're gonna get four kills. Chicken Contendies playing super well right now. Oftentimes, we see teams, unsigned teams, come into this, coming up against, you know, an, an academy team, and they play hesitant, right? We, we saw that, even with Montreal Rebellion, who are an academy team, newly minted. Um, and there's no hesitation here with Chicken Tendies. I really like this. They are a well-oiled chicken machine right now, I, I, I'm guessing. Uh, because they don't have any hesitation. All of these plays, you can see that the comms are clear. And Gig, I don't know how he's doing it, but he has gotten money shatter after shatter after shatter. So Jake and Contendi is going to be coming up on three ultimates that Gladiators Legion won't have for a little while longer. So Transcendence is going to be used immediately from Chicken Contendi. hardly going to use that Graviton Surge. Not a grab eat yet, just so everyone knows. Four kills again for Chicken Contendi. Gladiators Legion having a miserable time right now on this offense. That archway has stuffed many an offense. It's such a good place to hold. And Legion, you know, haven't given Tendi's any reason to budge just yet. However, Coming up next, they will have the bigger bang combo online. Fried is crazy with these self destructs, even by himself. So Dalton aiding him out, it could come up big because they need something. Just over a minute left for the attackers. Gladiator to be just looking for a big, bigger bang combo. That's that self destruct graviton surge combo. That is either gonna have an ultimate advantage with that. Oh, it's done going down, and the sound barrier is going to be doing the same thing, and so is the Graviton Surges are going to be coming out as well, and Self-Destruct going to be getting a kill from Fried and a D-Mech. You called it. You felt like something was going to happen with the Self-Destruct. My toes were tingling, just, <laughs> just saying. Uh, a, a really great bubble. I believe it was a bubble to save the Reinhardt from that stun we saw from his point of view, so really good heads-up play uh, in general, but unfortunately the Self-Destruct does win out in the end, so Gladiator's Legion, uh, this is going to be a tough point point B. Uh, they do have two support ultimates online, which is going to be great, but you have to be using that time to find kills yourself. You can't just be sustaining, especially not against a team like Chicken Tendies, who are not afraid to all in. Not afraid at all, and I love seeing that. And I wonder if that's the leadership from someone as experienced as Harblu, as Panker's going to use the Earth Shatter and then get stunned immediately afterwards. That was a little early, but they might have been able to cancel that Earth Shatter. Dalton going to get the first kill here for Gladiators Legion, who have made their way to very, very close to closing out that second point. Solik, though, with the guys onto water. He's going to tend to right back into this fight. Is Dalton going to be using that Graviton Surge? Panker getting that charge kill as well. Gladiator's Legion will be getting the second point. You know, it's scientifically proven uh, to uh, play better once overtime starts. Yes, that, that glowing, you know, menacing overtime bar will really push a team into overdrive right there. And I really liked where Legion staged that fight as well. They kept one member on the payload but forced Chicken Tendies to fight very close to their defensive spawn, so they actually weren't able to stop up that payload that entire time. It was still moving. And now Legion know that they have a tempo advantage. They want to keep pressing it because they have no support ultimates. Pride is actually super low, and so is Water, who was a stun. Pride's going to have to be used this self-destruct to make something happen for his team, but he knows when to use it and when it's going to find the most value. Is Dalton going to be throwing out that Graviton Surge? They were waiting for that bigger bank combo, and there was a boop there to get Buck to die from that self-destruct. 
but it doesn't matter. Shiggy Contendies are going to own this payload because of defensive spots. Tricky, tricky defensive spawns, and that means only 30 seconds left for the Legion to shatter as well, just to try and make things even more difficult. But Gig overstays his welcome. Panker takes him down, but there are so much, so many fewer teammates for the Legion, and the time's going to be so much greater. They're just going to try and eke out a few more centimeters while they can. Hard Blue does have a Graviton Surge, and this might be all they need to end this round for Gladiator's Legion without grabbing that third point. But will it be enough? Graviton Surge is out, grabs five members. Gladiator's Legion Rolf is available with that Transcendence, but that don't matter, my friends. It's Chicken Contendies gonna get three kills to start things off, or actually finish things off for this map. Gladiator's Legion not gonna see with the third point. Very well done from Chicken Contendies. Mm -hmm. Pulling things back at the Score. very last second. Enlightenment ain't gonna help you here. <laughs> Coming up against the self destruct. You gotta bring that Enlightenment in this house, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, good good stuff from Legion once they were able to get the ball rolling. But it was looking, you know, a little bit a, a little bit rough for them attacking that point, A, because they didn't change their team composition at all, right? And um, and they weren't, I don't feel that they were, they were, they were kind of hamper, tying their own legs together, right? Just a little bit. To be completely honest with you, though, we've seen a ton of good offense on King's Row so far. Mm -hmm. This has been arguably the first round where we've seen a defense like hold up and it's chicken contendies who yeah. who's the one that does it and you know these trials teams they have played more recently as well so they've they've played with this meta they're a little bit more familiar with it i can definitely see a world where these trials teams really surprise the academy teams i i would say so and if history holds true i mean second wind again like you said rolling out yeah maid's gonna have to feel what it's like to be on the other side of that uh oh right? uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe just a little bit, but let's not, ca we, we cannot count Legion out of it just yet because although Tendies have a very clear win condition, somebody is going to be winning and losing this, this mm -hmm. map, right? Uh, they know exactly how far you have to go, and when you have that, it's not a question of like, could we push it further, right? This is the finish line. You can start banking ultimates. Hey, maybe we'll just, you know, try and draw some ults from this fight, make this a dry push, bank it all for later. Uh, Legion, they have the ability to put a stop to this offense. And now, especially now that we have water on the Ana. So, a different kind of 3-3 three, three that we have sampled in the past, so you don't get as much frontline brawling ability with no Brigida, but you still have zone control with big anti nades You also, of course, have the potential to go very aggressive with an early nano boost, as Ana's are actually very good at charging that ability. Oh, this is a main cause if I've ever seen one. I remember on Hollywood, uh, Second Wind <laughs> would run this Ana, yep. and uh, they would get the sleep dart on, and they would take Speaking this kill. Of, yep, and so Buck is going to get first blood here on Chicken Con uh, from Chicken Con Dead. These two kills to start off their attack. Gladiator's Legion not going to do much with that Ana. Uh, but, you know, I like that they tried. You know, A for effort, but it doesn't seem to be worth it right now. It, it was, uh, Water did land a great sleep onto Salty, but while he was napping, his team was cleaning up the rest of the point. And Gig, yo, this guy plays a mean Rhine. He's gonna have the Earth Shatter, right, which is certainly something, and <laughs> it, is, it is certainly something, I, I'm, I'm saying, because Gladiator's Legion holding a goose egg right now in terms of ultimates. Rolf is the closest, uh, but you would really like to have, get your Reinhardt close to his Shatter as well. It imbues him with that confidence to go forward, you know, because you know that you have a threat, you have a weapon in your back pocket. Gig already is such an attack dog with this Reinhardt. Oh, that was actually super cool. I believe Gladiator's Legion got moved from behind and then pushed into the rest of Chicken Contendies. And that's why we're seeing a full team wipe right here. Some good stuff. That's some, like, high, like, that's, like, other, like, very good teams would have a hard time pulling that off. That, you, you can tell that they've really studied goats, right? Mm. Oh, throw the grab, then throw the self-destruct. That's kind of a playbook that everybody is used to at this point. But the boop from behind, uh, you know, whichever boop it was, because we were watching, you know, bouncing Reinhardt's. It was like a pinball. Yeah, I think Gladiators, like, they amped it up, and then during the boop, and that's why they're moving so quickly. Because mm -hmm. Gig was getting amazing value from this Reinhardt, and he's going to be looking for the same here again in point B. Panker down already. He was so close to shatter. Oh, he's not going to be able to use it, though, as he's back in his spawn. It's Graviton Surge, and then the self-destruct is going to come out. Really good shield placement from Chicken Contend. He's going to head up play it there. Gladiator's Legion going to use that sound barrier right away. And just in the nick of time, as Luddy was almost down. Fry's going to get first blood here for this fight. Chicken Contend, he's only had five members remaining. Gladiator's Legion have all that six, and Panker's gonna have 
have that earth shatter. No support ultimates on Chicken Contendi, so this could be the big ult that they need. It's probably going to be the only one to get taken down from Chicken Contendi Shatter. Gliders Legion not going to get anything from their Shatter, but they are going to get Gig back to spawn. Salty is D Mac. Gladiators Legion are going to win this defense. Thank goodness for that. Yes, because with three, it, it was like four minutes when that fight started. If they gave it up right there, you are looking down uh, at the barrel of a very, very, very difficult point. C, hold. Gig, this guy shatters on cooldown. Just gonna just gonna put it out there, which can be a curse and a blessing. He's not gonna have that for this next fight, but you see, when he went down, Legion were able to hold. It, they're gonna want to try and focus their resources on cracking that shield, chunking him down so he can't go for it as, as aggressively. Yeah, Gladiator's Legion definitely trying to crack some eggs on Chicken Contendies <laughs> right now. Harblue <laughs> gonna be very close to that Graviton Surge. He's gonna be getting it for this fight. It's gonna be the only thing that they have. He's gonna go ahead and throw that out. Bucket taken pretty low, but the Transcendence for Gladiator's Legion is there. There, Earthshatter coming down on the other side now. Gig is going to fall victim to it as finally Chicken Contendies is going to get stopped once again. Gladiators Legion, again, not finally. They are going to be able to get a second defense and they seem to have stabilized. This is where the defense starts to find an inherent advantage in the placement of the payload. Right? Their spawns are nearly equidistant, maybe even a little bit closer at this point than Chicken Contendies. So each stagger, or excuse me, even a trade favors the defense. So that's what they're going to be hoping for. Just going to point out, Gig again was the first one to go down. And uh, keep keep going, Legion. This is this is going to be the key to the success uh, because we can see, you know, he Gig is such a great player for this Tendies team. You know, he does have Shatter, and that sure is something. Ham Tornado, and he's going to be coming into this fight. Dalton going to be getting first bloody here. Ults upon ults in this fight for sure. Zolik, though, very close to that sound mirror. They're going to really want that one back. Gladiator's Legion going to be pushing Chicken Tintendies off. You know, see all those check marks. You take that big breath, and you're ready to go. But that one pick is all they needed. Exactly. You suddenly have a whoosh of air as all the air let out of the sails. Chicken Contendies, though, they still have a very good next fight. Right? They're going to have four ultimates. Legion themselves are, are sitting pretty. You know, they have two coming into, you know, two, three more. But of course, it's always just a question of how you use them. Gig hasn't shattered in a while. He's going to be feeling antsy, is my guess. Uh, Panker's still close to his. Fried could do some great work with a self destruct. May pair it with Dalton's grab. It's all still up. In the air. Gig try to get behind the payload to see if he can get a sneaky shatter off, and he was spotted out by Fry's Diva. The Graviton Surge now coming out from Gladiator's Legion to start things off. Built a trick now for Chicken Pendies. It's going to get two kills. Only one for Fry's, but things are even right now. This is a 4v4. Graviton Surge and then Earth Shatter. Now for Gladiator's Legion is coming out. Zola going to be dying with that sound barrier. That could be a big deal. It could be one of the reasons why Gladiator's Legion is still on this defense. However, they're still making progress on this payload, Yeah, yeah they have one. Uh, no, it's actually a 4v4. You are totally right. Now Zambarri comes in was Zolik has rejoined the team. Forces and, a transfer from Rolf. Yeah, and then Zoom Yacht is going to come out to make sure he gets back to the fight. And it lasted just long enough to keep Hanker alive for a little bit longer, but Giga get the better of his counterpart. Bucks dying first again in this fight. That seems to be a pattern that is developing for Chicken Contendies right now, as this is a 5v5. Now we're going to see what's the more valuable, Brig or Reinhardt. Transcendence now coming from Chicken Contendies. This is going to give them quite an advantage against Gladiator's Legion, as Chicken Contendies is going to have three ultimates that Gladiator's Legion do not have anymore, and they will be getting the second point, but Gladiator's Legion took a ton of time off the clock. They made it very, very interesting. Uh, no doubt, and Harbaloo is going to be looking for a victim here. You can see the edges of the finish line right there. You have the grab at the ready, and Legion currently have no support ultimates. However, they are vulnerable to getting grab themselves. Harbaloo going to be using that Reinhardt shield to get that Graviton Surge out. Bucket going to first kill, so instead of dying first, he's going to get the first blood. That's exactly how you want to change that behavior. Pride, though, going to even things up with the self destruct, but no speed boost. Or amp it up is going to mean that they're not going to have that extra AoE healing or that extra speed to get out of these fights. Chicken Contendies now looking for that Earth Shatter, and Zolik's going to be coming back with that sound barrier that's going to be used for Gladiator's Legion. Three members of Gladiator's Legion going to fall victim to this Earth Shatter. This is still anyone's game. Gladiator's Legion, though, going to get a little bit of an advantage with that kill on Buck, who was first, you know, got that first blood and then returned that to Gladiator's Legion, falling first in the re engage. Gladiator's Legion will be getting this defense. That was a great shatter from Gig. You can see that he's trying to exploit 
the angles, right? Go for like the cheeky around the payload shatter. And he did catch a couple of members of Legion, but in the meantime, Panker was wreaking havoc in his own backline. So that's the trade that you have to give when you take those engagements. And so Zola gonna use the sound barrier to start things off. Salty gonna be Salty and Gig gonna be the only ones on the ground. That's gonna be enough to take Gig off of this map. 13 seconds left for Chicken Contenies. This is their last shot to get back on it. To the payload, it's fine. It's gonna eat Par Blue's grab. You know, there's a moment where I was like, it's not gonna happen. He's gonna go the whole match. But Fry's gonna eat it anyway. The ground shots are coming from Gladiator's Legion. Gonna find you know the environment. They're gonna find some kills through. Does Panker gonna get a double charge kill? You know, we saw one swing double kill. We got a double charge kill as well. Salty gonna get a rebound kill as well. So a lot of cool things happening in this fight. Ham Tornado though, the overtime wake is still going. Gladiator's Legion still in control. Yep, it is even right here. Panker, one of the few members, but he shatters and it's free. Buck down on the ground, dead now. That's not too often you get a charge kill onto a Doomfist. But, whew. Whew. Yeah. That is, that was quite the match. I am very impressed with Chicken Contenders. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit doubtful coming in here. Um, I thought this would be, honestly, I thought this would be closer to a stop. But you know, It's always good to have some healthy skepticism. They've been playing, they've been playing well, in, in my opinion. I, I, I would agree as well uh, from, from what we saw, you know, both of the teams really going at it, not really holding anything back, which is what I think is great. Because, you know, a lot of times it's like the mirror composition is like, how can I get more value? Which which is going to be important, but oftentimes that means that you're going to be missing some of those windows of opportunity and gig. <laughs> I, I, I am... The gig economy, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would say so. However, that aggression can be turned against you, especially as the time bank is wearing down. You're feeling more pressure, especially Reinhardt's main tanks. I feel this myself, Reinhardt main. Um, <laughs> but you, you want to try to start doing more. I'm going to help out, guys, right? But you have to be, you just have to just rein yourself in that a lot of your value is not actually the damage that you're outputting in some of these fights. It's going to be your positioning. Is your shield healthy? Those kinds of considerations. The damage that you're nullifying, nullifying. right? Like Shield damage blocked. Right? Without right. that Reinhardt, there's going to be a bunch of kills on that self-destruct. Fried was able to find a bunch of them. Some good boops throughout this round so far, but we're entering halftime with Gladiator's Legion up 2-0 in a pretty competitive set mm -hmm. so far. We're going to take that six-minute break. We will be right back. <laughs> 